Hi, I'm Stacy with the South San Francisco Library. I'm excited to announce that Libby now has magazines. If you were previously reading digital magazines with the RB Digital app, you can now read those same magazines in the Libby app. Here are a few things you need to know. There is no limit to the number of magazines you can check out in a month or at a single time. Checking out a magazine does not count towards your 15 item limit for eBooks or audiobooks. And there are no holds needed for magazines. To start reading magazines, you'll first need to download the Libby app from the App Store or the Google Play Store. Once you have the Libby app, click on it to log in with your library card. From here, you're going to want to click Explore. Go ahead and look for the guide magazines. And here is our catalog of magazines. Now, if you're looking for something in a specific language, you'll want to click Preferences, Language, and then select from any of these languages to see what magazines are available. I'm going to keep it as any for now. Now from here, you could scroll and see if there's anything of interest. There's um, one catalog that's of our favorite magazines. If you want to see everything that's available, click All Titles. And there's over 3,200 in the collection. If you want to see the magazines brought out by category, click under here and more, and you'll see that category. I'm going to go ahead and click on Science. So from here, you can go ahead and just begin scrolling. And scroll until you find a magazine you're interested in. I'm going to click Audubon Magazine. All right, so this is what the page looks like for Audubon Magazine. You can scroll through. You can get a, a brief description of the magazine. You can see back issues. And Libby has a rolling three-year um, back issue history for each magazine, depending on what's available for the magazine. So you can go back further if you'd want to look at those. But if you're ready to borrow it, go ahead and click Borrow. And I'm going to open magazine. I'm going to give it one second to load up. From here, you'll see a couple of different things. Of the tools at the top, you're able to zoom in on a page. You can do a keyword search if you're looking for something, um, a specific topic. You can also do, place a bookmark if you're wanting to place a bookmark on a certain page. So this is what the cover would look like. You can also see at the bottom, you can scroll through and get to a page more quickly if you're interested. To just browse the magazine, you're going to want to uh, swipe right to left. And just go through like this. You see the pages. Now, if there is an actual article that's worth reading, um, you'll probably see a pop-up that says, read the article. You can see it down at the bottom of the screen. What's nice about this, I mean, you could read the article on the page as is, but if you click read the article, it's going to pull it up in the type of format you would use if you're reading a news article on your phone. And this way you can swipe from bottom to top. It's a better, little bit of a better reading experience. When you're done with the article and ready to move on, you're just going to swipe down and then continue going. If you want to see what magazines are on your shelf, just select the screen and go back. And at the bottom here, you see library, a picture of the magazine, and then shelf. So click shelf. And you'll see what you have um, checked out. If you want to go back to where you were in a certain magazine, just click that magazine. And it'll take you back to where you were. And you can just keep looking from there. You don't have to worry about returning magazines. They'll just leave your shelf once, um, you know, for the 7, 14, or 21 days is up, depending on what you select. So hopefully you're, gonna, you're excited about this new feature. I know that we are. Um, feel free to search all of the magazines if you're interested. And 
it should make your uh, digital reading experience even more fun. Thank you, everyone.